Welcome back everyone, Magical Chronicles here. All right, so we are still doing the sun signs. I hope everyone had a great Easter holiday. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, hit the like button and don't forget to share this video. So for those of you who are joining me for the first time, I tend to do the Venus sign in all of the zodiacs. And the reason why I do that is because it deals with abundance. I love to help get you closer to your abundance. And that comes in so many different ways, whether it's love, friendships, relationships, it could be marriage. We could be looking at your soulmate, your twin flame. We could even be looking at your career, your finances, success, travel, self-care, you name it. However, I'm choosing to the sun signs because I'm switching it up a little bit. So today it's all about sun in Taurus. So you know Tauruses, I hold you very close to my heart because I am a sun sign in Taurus and also a Venus sign in Taurus. So let's see what's going on for you guys today. I don't know if it's going to be love or money or self-care or maybe you're moving. I feel like money is coming up for you all. That's pretty much on my brain. It's money. So, okay. We got cards falling out. Got one right there. Let's get one more. All right. So you have a lot of heart awakening right now. A lot of you, Lady Nada. So it's about you awakening to accept any kind of love, especially using your own love to give and receive. So if you feel that you've been giving a lot, then maybe you need to kind of Pump your brakes a little bit and allow people to give to you. If you feel that you've been receiving a lot, maybe you need to switch it up and give a little bit more. So this is your first card out. And let's go ahead and see what else is coming up. So you got Auras, which is about Cosmic Gateway. So whenever I see this card, I know it has a lot to do with your own spiritual awakening. And a lot of you right now are probably getting quite a lot of downloads coming in. Maybe a lot of changes are happening. Maybe it's even a case of some of you seeking spirituality some of you are trying to figure things out maybe you're you're noticing a lot of synchronicities a lot of coincidences maybe a lot of messages are coming to you in the forms of like butterflies or feathers or dragonflies you name it but you are starting to open up yourself a little bit more to the unknown so this is your second card out all right so let's see what else is going on with taurus okay Taurus, what do you desire right now? What do you desire? Because this card is saying that you actually have the opportunity to write your own script. So if you're looking for a new career, this is the time for you to start looking. If you're looking to get back out there and date, that's the time too. But I feel like this is more focusing on career with you. So what do you want to do? Do you want to be an entrepreneur? If you do, you need to dive into it. If it is that you want to look for a job, a nine to five job, then start looking specifically in that area to what you're looking for so let's see what taurus needs to learn to understand please Ooh, so you're actually going through a healing time right now you got the snake the snake is beautiful by the way i used to freak out when i would see the snake <laughs> just so you know i would be like mm. but really and truly it's about you shedding your old skin and there's a lot of new things coming up and i think this is also related to this card, the Oros card, the whole awakening, the spiritual awakening. So you're actually getting a lot of knowledge coming in. And some of it is knowledge that you may not even quite understand, or maybe you start to stumble along something like, for some of you, it may be a case of you having a dream about something, going on YouTube or online, and you kind of end up looking up this information and going down an entire rabbit hole. And then you're like, I wonder if this is related to my ancestry. So things like that are what is going to come up for you. So a lot of different knowledge is going to be coming to you soon. So just be more open and aware. All right, let's see. I feel like money. Money is what keeps coming up. I, I picked up the love cards. So what does Taurus need to learn to understand? I picked up the love cards. However, you have been doing a lot of you've been doing a lot of work on yourself i also see a lot of you have been doing a lot of healing some of you are going down that path of healing now 
while you're going down that path of healing, there's always this possibility of stumbling upon things regarding your own family lineage. Maybe there are things that you're starting to question within your own family. So you got the card that actually healing family right now is very important. So that's something that some of you need to look at is healing your family. Maybe there are things that actually, I kind of feel like some of you are already doing this though. You are ready healing your family because you know there's things that need to be looked at so what else does Taurus need to learn and understand all right beautiful so you have temptation so every day gets harder and harder to resist what they know in their heart to be true they see you as their forbidden fruit okay so i don't know if some of you went through a breakup recently or maybe this is an ex of yours but it's looking as though because of this breakup you have an ex who's looking at you as forbidden fruit because they're still longing for you now, even though these cards have come up, I still feel like I'm being pulled towards money. So we're going to switch gears and see what's going on within your career, finance, money, success for Taurus. Please, three, two, one, go. Let's get one more card. We've got the seven of cups. What else does Taurus need to learn and understand regarding money? Okay, beautiful. So you have the four of cups and, sorry, the seven of cups and the four of pentacles. So with the seven of cups, there are a lot of different opportunities that are going to be coming your way. Matter of fact, I kind of feel like you're sitting down daydreaming, thinking about ways that you can make more money, ways that you can do different things within your life. So I feel like you need to pay attention to your dreams, whether it's at night or even during the day, daydreaming. Maybe, you know, you may have some passing thoughts of things that you want to do. Focus on those thoughts because they're not coming up just for no reason they're coming up because it's telling you hey wake up this is what you want to do or hey you thought about it or you've had reoccurring thoughts this is what you want to do so go ahead and allow yourself to think about ways that you can make more money or ways that you can maybe incorporate a second job or ways in which you can start your dream career so you got that here with the seven of cups right so you're going to be moving forward thinking more about how you want to do things and then also you have the four of pentacles which is actually you're trying to hold on to an old life i think some of you are holding on to that old life that's not really serving you so with the four of pentacles it's saying some of you are holding on to this old life but maybe it's time for you to look into something new especially you got that here with the snake card right you're shedding that skin and you're looking for something new so if you feel like you want to get more money because a lot of this also deals with you trying to figure out your finances. I feel like some of you are questioning, okay, if I try to do something different, will I be financially secure? So what we're going to do is we're going to look to see how you can become a little bit more financially secure. So let's see how Taurus needs to move forward in order to become financially secure. All right, let's start with doing some exercising. If you do that, it's going to help you to increase your energy, but it's also going to help you to kind of look deeper within yourself. Like I find for me, when I work out, I get more ideas. I get fresh ideas. I get, I get the knowledge that I need in order to move forward. So the fact that you got this card is saying exercise, go and work out your muscles get get the sweat going get burn some calories get it done because if you do something like this no one's saying you have to do it every day no one's saying you have to do an hour you can do 20 minutes three times a week and you'd be surprised you'll feel a lot better you'll feel lighter and you'll have more energy and you'll start to think more people don't believe this but when you can't figure things out work out it helps to drastically give you the answers it helps you to put you in the right direction so let's see what else taurus needs to learn and understand to move forward to become more financially stable all right this card wants to come out all right so you need to start attracting not chasing okay because if you start to chase anything you start to it comes from a place of fear okay it's like that underlying place of fear where you're kind of like okay i need to get this i need to do this i need to figure this out okay you want to completely change that mentality and tell yourself i will get this i will make this happen so you're trying to attract it kind of like law of attraction so a lot of you just need to start sending a different kind of energy out because this is gonna help you 
even with you using maybe like gratitude or like helping people um you know a lot of remember the first card which which card was it i was talking about balancing um yeah lady nada with the heart awakening was talking about giving and receiving in balance this will actually heart you help you sorry to attract a little bit more so let's go ahead and see what else is going on with your money how can taurus make more money two cards all right so you need to be more assertive more confident and kind of position yourself or carry yourself like you're the ceo of the company so if you know that you're somebody who wants to i don't care if it's something as small as sell stickers act like you are the best sticker seller in the world you know how to talk to people you know how to get them to buy your stickers you want to talk to them you want to find out what kind of stuff they like you want to find out if they have kids um, maybe they want stickers i'm just using this as an example by the way but i'm just saying if you're someone who wants to be manager of the mcdonald's or you want to be a supervisor at apple make sure that you are moving and standing in your purpose as though you are already in that position because that is you using law of attraction to bring that in as much as some of you do not believe it works it will work because it will help to flow that energy make the energy kind of change in your favor so that is your first card out queen of cups right now your second card out is the lovers now the lovers is usually whenever i see the lovers it's usually matched with relationships but in this case it's more about matching you with the right career so when i see the lovers i know it's saying you will find the right career or maybe you have already found the right career but you just need to find your footing in that career but for those of you who have not found the right career this is the card this is the reassurance that says yes we're going to match you in the right career so that you actually fall in love with that career or actually maybe it's that you're not in the career that you love and they're trying to help you get to that area get to that job or that career or maybe there is a business that you want to start where you are going to fall for that particular business so we're trying to get you to become more matched with that particular career right okay so let's see what else taurus needs to learn and understand how they can move forward in their careers one card from here so before you can move forward you want to take some time to really decide what it is you want you got the four of swords right so i would say really focus on what you want remember that card what do you desire so this is you spending some time figuring it out writing down a list and maybe you're somebody who has like 10 different things you want to do so you want to write down all those 10 different things and really try to focus on what do you want out of the 10 which are the top four that you really think about on a daily basis or on a regular basis and then narrow it down from there maybe there's something that you like to do creative creatively and maybe you can build a business around that so spend some time figuring it out first before you make the move but with the four of swords is saying you do need to just figure things out first and just take some time first before you start to make the move and maybe you're already somebody who's figured out what you want so if you know what you want take time now to yourself because you're probably going to get very busy in the long run with this new business that you're thinking of okay i don't know who's looking at doing some kind of baking or bakery but that's what's coming up and some of you you really do know what it is you want there are quite a few of you in here that i can see you know exactly what you want all right so let's get you one more card to fit to finish things off for taurus please all right let's do one more shuffle what else does taurus need to learn and understand moving forward last card out prayers and wishes i already feel like a lot of your prayers and wishes are being heard they're being answered but for those of you who are sitting here and you're thinking god i have been praying i have been wishing i have been putting the law of attraction out guess what they're they've been heard and they're on the way and i know this 
they're on the way. So it's not something that you need to worry about. Just continue to have more of a sunny attitude towards it, maybe every day, especially for those of you who kind of are stressing out and you're like, you know, kind of really um, like you're worried. I don't want to say that you're depressed because I don't get the depressed or anxiety, but you're kind of like worried if things are going to work out. Things are going to work out. It's just about you switching that mentality, that mindset to say, hey, I'm going to make this happen. What do I deserve? What do I want? What you want is going to come to you. Just keep that in mind. All right. So last card out was your prayers and wishes. So Taurus, thank you so much for joining me. For those of you who are new, welcome. Thank you. And I will see you on the next one. Don't forget Magical Chronicles. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.